Did you like it though? Did you? Double time. Guess what? There's a difference between a winner and a champion. There's a difference between a winner and a champion. Because a champion is definitely a winner, but all winners are champions. It's a difference in mindset. It's hard to become a champion by luck. Even if you are on a team, it's hard to become a champion by luck. You gotta be all in. So the difference between a winner and a champion is mindset. That's the difference. Because in winning, a champion understands that just winning is not good enough. Okay, at the end of the season, you won more games than you lost. But a champion understands that was a failure because it didn't equate to a championship. All it ended up being was winning games. You see, a, a champion is one of one. One of one. There can only be one. There can't be multiple champions in the same year in the same sport. There can't be multiple champions in this league. There can only be one. And there will only be one. What's good, Triple FL League? I am your commiss. And what's good, you two? It's that fantasy network, and I'm your host, that fantasy guy. And we got another season of the Triple FL League. So this is a Triple FL special. How y'all like that intro video? Yeah? Yeah? Well, I, I'm going to hit them. Hold a vape. We just had the draft. I hope y'all hyped. Y'all ready for another season. What? The game should be later today. You know, hopefully I dropped this video on this Thursday. Hopefully. You know, hopefully I was on my shit. <clears throat> so everybody got to draft a team and Yahoo have their grades. And you know how I feel about Yahoo grades. I told y'all last year, I'm not a fan of Yahoo grades. I don't trust anything they said. They'll tell me my team about to go zero and 14. And I'll go to the, I'll go to the playoffs. So I, I don't listen to Yahoo. Now who I would listen to is fantasy pros, you know. Their power rankings is a little more realistic. But before we get into that, let me introduce you to the league. Girl. You know it's time for some fantasy football. I'm going to win the championship for sure. I'm taking it all. Stunting on whoever hated on me, I'ma get this money on God You know, it's time for some fantasy food Woo! I borrowed that song from Real Reality Football So hopefully my boy don't mind Can't wait to see their show up and running But let's get with it So, so on Yahoo, shouts out to Chris they gave him a report card of an A. They really liked his team. Projected him to go 13 and 1. 13 and 1. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. <laughs> I didn't even look at his team, and I'm just. <laughs> Let's take a look at his team. Winston, uh, you know, Winston can do all right. Cooper Cup, Fournette, all right. James Conner. Michael Thomas, he definitely got a veteran team because Adam Thielen, definitely a veteran team. He threw some Cam Akers, Drake London, Zay Jones, Isaiah McKenzie. Oh, he got some youth on the bench. He did put some youth on the bench, thank God. So, but... If all them players stayed healthy, maybe he could go 13 and 1. But I'd be damned. That man got a veteran team. He got James Conner. I'd be damned if he 
play all the games. Michael Thomas, who barely born to play football, I'd be damned if he play all the games. But I guess we'll see. We'll see. We got Ryan at 14 coming in last. You can check his team out. Fantasy Pros rated his team an 80. Next up, we have Joe at number 13. The Fantasy Villain. Fantasy Pros rated his team an 85. Next up, we have Purple Pride at 12. Fantasy Pros rated her team an 87. At 11, we have the Mad King Kendrick. Fantasy Pros rated him an 88. At 10, we have the Luck of the Irish. Gerard himself and Fantasy Pros rated his team an 89. At number nine, we have Craig saying he got unfinished business after losing in the championship. And Fantasy Pros rated his team a 90. At number eight, we have that fantasy guy. And Fantasy Pros rated his team a 91. At number seven, we have Jay, AKA the Juices Loops. And Fantasy Pros rated his team also a 91. At number six, we have Steven, my arch rival. And Fantasy Pros also rated his team a 91. At number five, we have the Yahoo favorite. Supposed to go 13 and one, Chris. And he jokingly named his team Noob. Boy, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Fantasy Pros rated his team a 92. At number four, we have. Hey, y'all ready for it? Are y'all ready for it? His name is Winner. Hey, I, I need to ask you, like, I, your daddy must have loved sports, like, so much that he was like, my son is going to be a winner to the point I'm naming him winner. Like, you know, that's a lot of pressure, man. It's a lot of pressure to name your son winner. So when you do lose, it's like, you know people coming at your head. They at your head. They on your head. <laughs> but winner, team was rated a 93 by Fantasy Pros. At number three, we have Prentice. I hope that's how you say it. AKA Big Numbers. Fantasy Pros rated his team a 94. At number two, we have Ebony. And Fantasy Pros rated her team also a 94 and at number one wheezy whack team i'm sure he gonna change his name his team we have wayne and fantasy pro said he set the curve and rated his team 100 so that's what it is folks Comment, comment and tell me which team you like the most, but I'll go ahead and give my commission a piss. Let me look at the three teams I like the most. All right. If I had to pick three teams other than my own, of course, 
because I like my two. But first up, we'll have Chris team. And even though he have a lot of veterans on the team, if they manage to stay healthy and can produce like they have in the past, his team could be dangerous. And he got a couple rookies on the bench to replace them if need be. So I like his team. I like I like Wayne team. I like I like Wayne team. It's hard not to like his team. I mean, he got Jonathan Taylor and Kyler Murray on the same team, so that's gonna make it good. Then Debo, David Montgomery, Bryce Hall, Marquise, Marquise Brown, who's gonna start off hot. Got some youth thrown up in there. I'm not really fond of his bench, but he got a couple players I do like. Yeah, yeah, I like his team. I like his team. And the team that stood out the most to me was the Mad Kings Kendrick team. Russell Wilson, Diggs, Swifts, Elijah Mitchell, Bateman, Swartz, Tony, Lockett, I don't know about Lockett, Julio Jones. Well, I ain't gonna say his team stood out the most, but his team stood out. So, you know, uh, those three teams that caught my eye just while glancing over the rosters. So we'll see how far you gonna go. Of course, 16 make the playoff, two teams get a bye. That's how we rolling. And the matchups we have coming up this week is that fantasy guy versus Jay. I'm currently projected to win by 13. Next matchup we have Craig versus Joe. And Craig is currently projected to win by 11 points. Next matchup we have Prentice versus Steven. And this is going to be a close matchup. Prentice is currently projected to win by two. Next matchup we have Carolyn versus Kendrick. And Kendrick is currently projected to win by nine points. Next, we have Ebony versus Gerards. These are two old heads that have been here since the beginning of the league. And Ebony is currently projected to win by seven. Next, we have Ryan versus Winner. And Yahoo is projecting Winner to win by 11 points. And of course, starting off the first week of the season, for the matchup of the week, we have Wayne versus Chris. Wizzy Whack team versus Noob. Both of these teams are two that I picked out the three that stood out. And Chris is currently projected to win by seven points. That'll be a good matchup. Now, there's something I want to tell y'all. For this season, there will be a new champion. The two-time champ decided not to come back to the league. Rest in peace, my brother. Whatever you're doing, I wish you well, my brother. But the show must go on. So this year, we will definitely have a new champion. Hope that Hopefully, that champion's me, though. Hopefully that champion is me. <laughs> but how y'all feeling about the new format? The Ultra Flex. Now, there's some people that may complain with the Ultra Flex. It gave you the ability to make your team how you wanted to. If you wanted to start eight running backs, you had your choice. Eight running backs, eight wide receivers, eight tight ends. Well, you couldn't start eight tight ends. Yahoo wasn't giving me that ability. But you can start like five tight ends if you want. You had the ability to make your roster how you see fit. You have, you have, it was like a blank canvas and you had the creative right to be an artist with your roster. Now I did have like one person complain, but for the people complain, they don't last long in the league. So it, hey, it'll be, It'll be his last season. Like, we got rid of the other two complainers last year. 
There's not a league. There's not a league for complainers. You in the league? If you good, win the league. If you can't win the league, I don't want to hear you talking about how good you are. I don't want to losers. Losers go complain. Complain when you're on top. If you if you can't get on top, I don't want to hear you complaining. But anyway, I didn't hold y'all long enough. Hope y'all enjoy this season. Hope the viewers enjoy this season. And we out. Remember, there's no off-season for champions. And I want to wish everybody good luck except for the person I'm playing. Peace.